One of the biggest things that I love about the NFL season, you know, whether it's the off season, the draft, or you know, whatever, is you find hidden gems. You find guys that you know either have a ton of talent and just aren't given the time of day or you know they've got a ton of talent uh and they just you know they haven't penned out with a certain team or whatever they come to a new team and find the, their way you know there's a, a lot of players that have done that but you know for Mal for a guy like malcolm Kuntz, uh i really feel like he is a hidden gem for the las vegas raiders now when you talk about yes the defensive end room for the las vegas raiders is, al is already crowded we've talked about it uh you know max crosby and chandler jones both of those guys uh, should easily combine for say you know 20 sacks together easily that would be a down year for these two uh but i also think at the same time you need to take a serious look uh at what's after these guys obviously max crosby is going to be around for the long term but with the physical tools that malcolm coons has chandler jones probably has one to three i think he's got it's it's at least two years but they i think they have an option out in his third year to to absolutely cut ties and uh, not lose a ton of money i believe I, I don't remember off the top of my head but there is an option like that i believe in a guy like chandler jones's contract so if after a couple of seasons he's not getting it done, you find a guy like Malcolm Coons, bring him back, coach him up, uh, and I think you could see some things. Now, again, I do think it is uh, one of those things this guy has to have talent, but l l let's take a look at this. These stats, just taking a look at them, might not be that incredible, but keep this in mind. The guy played, I think it was under 25 snaps. Uh, I think it was like, actually, now that I think of it, it was like 17 snaps and he had two sacks. I'm no mathematician. In fact, I think my wife could argue that I I struggle with the old ones and uh, the X's and O's. Not the X's and O's, what's it, the ones plus ones. The point is, that is tremendous when you talk about a guy that did not play a lot, but it also finds a way to produce. Now, again, it's also relative. You have to look at the fact of, okay, it's 17 snaps. Look, probably some of it was garbage time. Some of it was, you know, maybe going against level lower level talent, which wasn't the case. But, you know, it's relative. Do you think this guy can, you know, 17 snaps times, you know, all the way up to 1,000, could he get that many sacks, you know, uh, bring all the math into it probably not but could he be a guy that comes into your defensive line room and has that eight to ten sack type season especially in that new defense with patrick graham uh yeah i absolutely believe it and plus you got kyler Fackrell back there as well but i really think that if you take a look at the the future facing a guy like malcolm coons you're really excited about what he brings for the future of your defensive end and outside linebacker position and honestly i think he's a guy that you know again you you draft guys like this in the third fourth fifth rounds to see if you can develop them uh maybe a little bit on the cheap side but also you know when they come back for that second contract, they're also not going to be as expensive. Uh, but you've developed them. They have a r rapport with that coaching staff. They have established their name on that defense. And at this point, or at that point, excuse me, they're probably a leader, a captain at some point. So, you know, they are feared, they are revered, and they are ready to go. So I, I think this is, uh, you know, this is a guy in Malcolm Coons for the Raiders that really needs to be taken seriously. He really needs to ball out in training camp and all that in preseason. Yes, I get it. But overall, yes, uh, we cannot lose sight of what the Raiders have outside of uh, Max Crosby and Chandler Jones. They've got a lot of talent uh, on that and on, on that edge position. Uh, and obviously, Cleveland Farrell's another guy, but at the end of the day, Malcolm Kuntz is a head... Let's try that again. Is a hidden gem for the Las Vegas Raiders, and I think he's going to uh, he's going to show out uh, and show a lot of people what he has to offer uh, this team, and you know, for that matter, the league moving forward. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. Greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome, and we love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at the sports the sports bp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it but let us know what you guys think about malcolm coots being a hidden gem for the las vegas raiders